Today's show is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Hello, I'm David Pachuto, the Drunken Woodworker, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely beer flight. Or is it a whiskey flight? Or is it a candle holder? You decide. I'm making two identical beer flights out of one piece of half inch red oak. First thing I'll do is rip my boards to width. and then cross cut them to length. I'll now set my blade to 45 degrees and cut the bevels on the bottom piece. I'll take a couple passes and sneak up on that first bevel. Now I'll mark where my holes need to be and then take this over to the door press and drill them out. This requires a large Forstner bit. If you're batching these out, I suggest letting the bit cool every once in a while. This will extend the life of your bit and prevent burning. Now I'll write a profile on the ends using a cove bit mounted in my router table. You'll want to use a sacrificial backing board to prevent blowout and this will also help guide the piece along the fence. I'll now raise the bit slightly and make a second pass. This will leave a cleaner cut and not leave any burn marks. Here I'm resawing the half inch red oak into two pieces that will be used for my feet. Because the pieces that I'm using for my feet are so small, I will cut them out on the bandsaw as well. Although not seen here, I suggest sanding all your pieces before gluing them up. And now it's just a matter of gluing the top to the base. I prefer using F-style clamps for this step. And I'll just wipe away any squeeze out with a wet rag. After the glue has had time to set for a little bit, I'll then glue on my feet, making sure to glue long grain to long grain.
To level out my feet and remove any wobble, I'll use some adhesive back sandpaper on the cast iron top of my table saw. And then some final sanding, a few coats of spray lacquer, and we're all done. Well, thanks for watching. I plan on selling these at my next craft show, and I'll let you know how I do. You can find links to all the tools and materials I used in the description down below, as well as the plans for these beer and whiskey flights. But as always, be safe, stay passionate, and make something.